afternoon everyone, how are you doing? Um, just a quick update on the Fergie. Um, new parts have come in. Got the new uh, heater. It's all on now. Along with the wiring loom. Uh, so, uh, just got to do the uh, the hole in the gearbox tomorrow. Um, I bought some, some JB Weld. Oh, this sauce is good for this sort of stuff. It bonds it like heck and it'll probably never ever come apart. Um, yeah, so tough that you can't drill it, grind it. Resistant to oil, which is good because it's a gearbox. Um, temperatures and it's very high tensile strength as well. So um, I think this is going to work well. Um, should get to do this tomorrow. Um, if I don't, then it'll have to be in another video. But um, yeah, uh, hopefully, I get it done. Uh, let me show you the hole. There it is, I don't know if you can see it, but um, yeah, that's what we've got to fill. There's a little hole there. That's what we've got to fill. <laughs> Still just got to fit the solenoid here with them two. Yeah, but otherwise, pretty much there. Um, I've got to spray up these stabiliser bars. Um, and then put them on it, along with the wings. I've got a new toolbox on the wing as well. It's not the right one, but the Fergie one's got the. Um, it's not like that, it's just um, there. It's got. Um, comes out, doesn't it? And it's there. I think this was off like Dexter or something, but to me. It going on the wing, I don't think it's going to matter, but I might get a new one, I don't know, I'm not really sure, I'm not sure about it, but um, I'll probably swap it back out, but, um, I don't know, I've sanded down the bonnet, the uh, fuel tank, and that's ready for another coat, um, so yeah, more uh, weeks to come, I'm going to start fixing the bonnet, don't know what to do about this rust here, Quite a lot of corrosion. Um, I don't know what to do about it. Let me go and get a screwdriver. Um, because I try, I was thinking about what to do on it, and um, realistically, I think we should just um, cut it out or something. But I know you can get a new pan, but they, I think they're over 100 quid just for that front piece. Um, I don't really want to be spending that much. Well, it is a fur game, so I suppose I can spend that much. Uh, I don't know what that'll do. But yeah, I should. I might be able to fix it. Oh, that's gone all the way through. I think I'm going to need a new piece. Oh, that's it. Anybody out there has got a new piece for that, I'd be very appreciative of it. Well, anybody know where I can get one? That'd be good. Yeah, I'll do that. Right, hello everyone. Um, I've just got some uh, uh, brake cleaner at the moment. Um, just trying to clean up this area where the hole is there. I'm just like, trying to get it so uh, the JV well will apply easily. Quite 
fiddly on there. But Not too fast if the paint comes off of it because um, it needs to come off for the paint, the JB word to stay. And uh, I've got some other parts of the paint as well, so I'll paint them there. Let's try to get it in the hole as well so it cleans with some of the oil that might be in there. And go ahead, take this plug out and give it a right good scrape. Get back to me in a sec. So I've got the plug out now. And I think what I'm going to do is just squirt it up. Finger in there and clean it. Hang on. Got my wrong hand in, I need the other hand. Oh. Can't actually get down uh, into cleaning it. It's quite hard. Oh, great! Look at that. All in the oil. <laughs> Bloody brilliant. Right. Here now, I've got this uh, JV weld. Um, I've got to mix some of this up to get. Uh, it. I don't know. I think this is hard enough. And then you got it put equal amounts in, and then I've got that. I've got another lap welding rod here, so I'll mix it up with that, and then I can put it into that hole there. Looks bigger on camera than it actually is, but um, yeah, once it's on there, um, it should stay on forever, I hope. Um, so I'm just going to give it a bit more of a clean up with a scouring pad. Where that is, I don't know. Um, a scouring pad. Do it quickly. You don't want it too rough, but yeah, I'll give that a clean up. Then, yeah. Right. I've put the first little bit on. It's not very good lighting. I put the first bit on, and it's just literally around there. See that big hole still, I still haven't got to fill it in. I filled the little hole in, um, and I'll wait for that to set, then I should be able to get an even spread across it um, to fill that big hole in. It's quite cold at the moment, so it's not right working very well, but I don't have much time to do it, so I want to get it done now. Um, yeah, I'll get that. I'll wait for that to dry for about half an hour. Let's see, it, see it sets just a little bit, um, and I'll come back then. Right, so... Um, I put a bit more on now, there, so there's less of a hole now, so it's about quarter to one, um, I reckon if we come back about two, it should have hardened a little bit, um, so I can put some more in there, um, but I think it's going to work quite well if it does work, I think it's going to be stronger than the uh, aluminium itself, yeah. Right, while I'm at it. I've uh, got some of this bumper care stuff, but it says it can do uh, revised colour and protect plastics and rubber. So that would be perfect for the wheels, as I don't have any tyre paint. So, what? I'm just going to get a rag. I'm quite dirty at the moment. Um, so, I'm going to clean them up, make them shine. I'm ready for the showing season. I don't think it's going to be going outside much. It's, we've got a foot of snow again. This this week, so as much as last time, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna polish these up, then I'll get back to you. Right, um, I've just done a few, few little bits, 
I cleaned up the wheels. Uh, they're nice and clean. That's the cat. Um, I also done some touch ups as well where the paint might scratch. Um, so I've done the wheel bugs. They're all painted up. And I've just done a little bit like down there where the paint couldn't reach. And these bands on here. Like, um, I didn't want to get them. No cat. Um, yeah, so I've just done a few bits. Um, the JB Weld has set, it's quite, it's hardened a lot. Um, I'll just give you a quick look, I don't know if I'll see. Uh, I can't see. But there's not only two tiny, tiny holes now, um, which I'm going to fill in tomorrow when it's fully set. So there's two hard layers on it. And uh, yeah, I've just been polishing up all the little copper brass bits there and stuff. So it's all nice and clean now. Like that, I polish that up nicely. So yeah, uh, I'll carry on the uh, video tomorrow. Um, yeah. Right, hello everyone, how are you doing? Um, just a quick little uh, bit on this video. It's pretty big of the last clip of this vid. Um, but the uh, I put some more JB Weld on the gearbox, and um, it's hardened well. Um, I came in this morning and it, it hardened. I just put a bit more on to fill in them little holes, and it's worked well. Um, so it's all cleared up. You can't see any holes there anymore. Which is good, um, and probably about next week I will um, put some more on, so it'll be rock hard though. And then um, we've just got some more on. There's like tiny little holes; it'll fill them as well. Um, but yeah, uh, so the next jobs I've got to do on the Fergie are just a little bit of spraying. Got to do the wings and the bonnet. Um, after that, I think she's going to be done. I've put some antifreeze in. I don't know if you can see. There's a slight little leak on that hose there, but I've tightened it up now. Um, all them little touch up to drive. Um, it's a tad of the different shade. Um, let's see the cow there, it's a bit of a different colour. I don't think I'm really fussed. The only large bit of it is on the there. Well, I've just been cleaning it. But otherwise, I think it's going to be alright. Yeah. Uh, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, share it. Subscribe. Um, tell me what you want to do next. And uh, tell you what. Whoever um, comments the best comment, uh, anything like that, I'll give you a shout out. Uh, that's it for this video. Like, subscribe, peace.